Hi guys, welcome back to Adventures in the Schoolhouse. And we have another fun reading for you today. We have Little People Big Dreams by Maria Isabel Vergara. And we are studying Amelia Earhart. So, so excited to do a reading with uh, of Amelia Earhart. And then we have a fun mini lesson up on the website. So you can download that at home, a PDF with all kinds of fun activities. But before we dive into this reading, I want to encourage you guys to go out and get your, do you guys have like snowboard glasses or goggles that you can put on so that you can get into the um, character? <laughs> I went to go look for mine and I couldn't find them. I wanted to do the reading with my actual, my actual goggles on. But anyway, if you have yours handy, then go ahead and, and get your, um, your aviator goggles on or your snowboard goggles so that you can get in the mood with the theme of the book. So, Amelia Earhart, and here we go. I'm gonna try to hold it up. Okay, some of you may have this book at home. If not, you can order it on Amazon or barnesandnoble.com or follow along here for a reading. There she is. When Amelia was a little girl, she liked to imagine she could stretch her wings and fly like a bird. And there's her goggles. When she was older, she went to an air show. The plane soared into the sky, leaving Amelia on the ground. She wished she could go with them and see what they saw. She got a ride in an airplane and liked it so much she didn't want to ever come down. So Amelia learned to fly. After months of practicing, she became the first woman to fly up to 14,000 feet. That's a big number. With a mechanic and a pilot, she was also the first woman to try and fly over the enormous Atlantic Ocean. As they set off, she waved at whales far beneath her. See that whale? After many hours, they reached land. The world looked small, so small. The houses and cars were like toys. Even though Amelia wasn't flying the plane, when they landed, she became famous. People around the world were inspired by her story. There's those goggles and those hats. Get them on kids if you have them. Amelia thought that every girl deserved to fly. So she founded a club with 98 other fearless pilots a little later, she flew across the Atlantic all by herself. Wow, she was the first woman to do that. As her 40th birthday approached, Amelia decided she wanted one final challenge, to fly around the world. A brave navigator went with her. They flew for thousands of miles over oceans and jungles. And over the savannah where giraffes turned their heads in their trail, some people said the journey was crazy. But Amelia wasn't afraid of living a thousand adventures. So she flew on like a bird, farther than anyone had gone before, never to return. Because Amelia always followed her own advice, if you want to do something, do it. You never know how far you could get. And here is her timeline from the time she was a little girl in 1904 to 1937. And I love these little timelines in the back of this book. Um, what a great story. What an iconic trailblazer. She, Amelia had fought hard for women's rights and equality. Um, we have such a fun little mini lesson that goes with this. I'm just gonna share it with you here. 
So one of her goals, she was so driven, uh, one of her goals was to circumnavigate, which means to travel around the world. And um, she did that. And sadly, um, her plane never landed. So when she, after her 40th birthday, when she took off in Honolulu, let's find it on the globe, it's pretty far. We've got a lot of math in this mini lesson. So let's see, where are we? Here's North America where we live. And she took off from right here, the Hawaiian Islands and she, Honolulu. She wanted to circumnavigate, so she wanted to go all the way around the world, right? Right? All the way around the world. And um, boys and girls, you can find out exactly how many miles that is. She was the first woman to fly 14,000 feet. So it's kind of a, a fun opportunity to look at your globes and see how far that is or get out a map and look at the Hawaiian Islands and look at where we live and where she took off and where she wanted to go. She had many adventures and had many successful flights. Um, but that last flight, she never came back. And um, maybe her plane crashed. Some people like to think that she uh, landed on a deserted island somewhere and, and finished out living the rest of her life. I kind of like to use my imagination and think that. Um, so here's some fun things we can write, things that describe Amelia Earhart. Adjectives, remember, adjectives are words that describe, so we can color our Amelia, we can write adjectives, words that describe her. And there's also a fun acrostic poem. It spells the word pilot, so P-I-L-O-T, an acrostic poem, so vertically writing pilot. And then on your own sheet of paper or using one like this, you can write all about some of the fun facts in her amazing life and her inspiration and for others and the difference that she made impacting um, women's rights. You can write all about her there or on a blank piece of paper. And I love this one, this is a Venn diagram where you can comp compare Amelia Earhart to yourself. And what are some of the character traits that Amelia has? And what are some of your character traits? Another fun thing that you can do with Amelia Earhart, or really any of these women that we've studied um, during National Women's Month, is I like the um, My Hero Project, where you can think about who is your hero and what is a hero? What, does, what shape does that take and what does that look like for you? You can even interview people in your family and find out who their heroes are. And you can write those down um, and you can also make a list of character traits of what are some character, character traits that a lot of these heroes share that they have in common with one another. So there's that commonality, these character traits that these heroes have uh, in common with one another. And then, last but not least, how to make a paper airplane, because we all need to fly a plane like Amelia, right? So, here's ours. Let's see if it flies. Oh, not bad, pretty good. <laughs> I hope you have fun with this lesson, guys.